Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can upgrade your .NET site from version 5 to version 6. Now, why is that I'm being very specific about uh, version 5 of DNN? It's because if you go all the way back to version 4 or version, version 3, there are different nuances that you in different things that you have to do to to make the upgrade successful so at this point in time i just want to focus on the upgrade from any version of dnn5 to .NET 6 uh, now in my specific case here i have uh, a dnn 531 website it's a test site 531, which I will be upgrading to DNN 6. Now, first thing that we have to do is we have to create a backup of the website. Don't do, uh, don't try to do an upgrade in a live site without having a backup. You must have a backup of your database, of your site files. I'm not going to go through the backup process. I'm just going to say do a backup of site files and database just in case something goes wrong with the upgrade. The upgrade right now from 5 to 6, it's quite simple. But again, you must do an up you, you must do a backup just in case something goes wrong or again if something uh is not going as as you have foreseen. Okay, so backup first. Then once you have the backup you can now download the upgrade package from a uh, DNN 6 from uh, .netduke.com website. So if you go to the homepage of .netduke.com, click on the download link and scroll down, you're going to see different installation, different packages, install package, upgrade package. This is the one that we will be downloading to upgrade our website. So I'm just going to click here. It will ask me for an agreement. I will agree to that. I'm going to save it locally. Now I'm going to open the folder that the upgrade file was saved at. Here is the file. I'm going to unzip that file. I will unzip it right here as well, just for convenience. It is getting unzipped. Okay, so we are almost done. Okay, perfect, it's done. Now, once this is done, what I can do, I can just copy the files. And one one note here, my development site is a local site, so I will not be using FTP to access the website. I'm just using my local system. What I'll be doing is I'll be copying the files from the upgrade zip that I have just unzipped. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to my site root, which is right here. See, it's running under my under under my local system. www.root dnn531, which is this one here. I'm just going to go there and very simply, I just need to paste all of those files over on top of the existing files. So I'm just going to grab a space here, right click, and I can just paste or I can go and press Alt, go to Edit, Paste. It will ask me if I want to override all files, that's fine. Do it for everything that is conflicting. Copy and replace all of them. It's asking for confirmation again. I'll just check this and yes. So in a second, it will be all copied over. It's asking for permission. I'm just going to click continue. Just a little bit more and it will be done. Okay, so files were copied over. And now we have to go to the browser and we have to call the website again. Now, before I call 
the website again, I would like to highlight one, one aspect that usually it's a good idea if the site is public. You may want to take the site offline before you start copying the files to the root folder. And this is to avoid that somebody else triggers the installation process while you are still copying the files. And to do that, you can do that uh, very easily by creating an offline file and placing it in the root folder of your site. I'm going to, even though I have skipped this step, but I'm going to do that just to show you. Here is a file that I have created inside the my, my site's root folder. The file has to be called app underscore offline dot htm. And if we open the contents of this file, it can be it, it is just a, a simple HTML file that will have a message like site is offline for maintenance, something like that. And if someone accesses the site while this file is there, this message will come up so the the person, the user knows that the site is offline for maintenance. And that with that file there, it will avoid triggering the installation uh, wizard, the installation process automatically, the upgrade process automatically. Now, if I try to refresh the site while the app underscore offline dot HM file is there, if I try to refresh the site, that uh, offline message will come up. So as, as, I, as I said, um, again, the message came up because of that file. Now, all files, all upgrade files are in place. So I can just get rid of this, this, uh, this file altogether. So I can go back to my site root. I can delete or rename this file. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. Continue. Now, if I refresh again, what will happen is that the upgrade process will be triggered automatically. So let me refresh the page and let's wait a second. Perfect. So it's saying upgrading dot that nook. This is, uh, to which version it's upgrading to, which is version six. It's upgrading from version 531. And here is the log that is creating. Everything is been successful up until now. Let's wait a little bit more. Upgrade complete. Click here to access your portal. So everything went fine. It, you may get some errors. I mean, but you would have to investigate if something comes up. But normally, that's what you should be expecting. Success all, all along. So just click on Click here to access your portal and let's have a look how our portal looks like. Well, it, it will not look that much different, but we're going to, uh, let's just check if it's showing up the, let's see, let's see the login here. See, so this type of login, uh, pop-up login light box is, is new from, from the NN6. So I just wanted to prove that this is now a DNN6 website upgraded from DNN531. Okay. So this is how you can go about upgrading your .NET Nook version 5 to .NET Nook version 6. Thank you very much and bye for now.